The word most commonly associated with advice in English is should, but it's not the only way. Let's learn more about should and some other ways that you can give advice in English. The two main words used for advice in English are should and ought to. So, for example, you should look left before crossing the road or you ought to look left before crossing the road. If you are advising someone not to do something, you simply make it negative. You shouldn't cross the road. You ought not to cross the road. It's important to say that should is used much more frequently than ought to. And particularly in the negative, ought not to is not used very much at all, but it is possible. But these aren't the only ways. There are another of a number of other verbs you could use to give advice, such as suggest, advise, recommend. And often when these words or others are used to give advice, um, they are used in one of the three ways mentioned here. Firstly, with an intensifier. So that's a word that makes the advice appear uh, greater than it is. Uh, so, for example, we strongly suggest our practice test. So this is pushing your advice closer to the level of being a command without quite getting there. But it's giving quite strong advice to the person hearing it. Or you could use a passive form. For example, you are advised to drive on the motorway or an it that construction. For example, it is recommended that you arrive early. And the benefit of the passive form or the it that structure is you don't have to disclose who is giving the instruction. And that makes it a bit more formal. That makes it a bit less confrontational or direct for the listener. So it's a way of getting your advice to the person who's listening without putting the same amount of pressure on them as something a little bit more direct. Note that you could use any of these three techniques with all the verbs listed there. So suggest, advice, recommended could all be followed with intensifiers, passive forms or it that constructions. But there's many other ways to give advice apart from just using should. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get all of the latest videos or click the video in the corner for the next one in the series.